It could be that uh, you're a complete fucking moron. And you don't know how to use a fucking hand tool and have any goddamn common sense. So keep that in mind. This is Howard Mechanic giving another home setup deck out in the creek. Today we're doing a review on the DeWalt Hall Ring pliers. Uh, I was looking for some new ones. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is the old school tool we used to use. Just got tired of it, uh, to be honest with you. Look for something faster, quicker, as far as in my particular case, trying to put some balls of cap on some cattle fence. They're pretty heavy duty. I uh, did watch the reviews uh, before I purchased them. Didn't have great reviews, to be honest with you. Uh, and kind of like a lot of the reviews I said they were accurate. Uh, biggest complaint was that they don't get tight. It says right here on the box, folks, it does 930 seconds. It actually shows a picture of how tight they get. Uh, so, you know, roughly so in there. So, in some of the defense, it says right here on the box, they don't get tight. So, read the box, you know, before you start bitching. The other complaint was that I saw is that uh, it doesn't do uh, tight cramps. And when it does when it does do tight cramps, uh, you know, the thing's bad about getting jammed up. And I did get jammed up out in the field, uh, mostly because the tip of it is at such an odd angle. It's not like you think as far as you're going to be doing the hog rings this way. Um, they're actually sideways. You're actually using the tool sideways. So a lot of the reviews that I saw saying that, uh, you know, it's hard to get in tight corners, hard to get in uh, tight spaces is true. You know, you're not going to uh, get it in a tight spot. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to have a, a pretty open area to get it into. Um, some of the reason is, is, is the way the tips are designed. Only one handle tilts, one side is stationary. So there is no play in this. You know, if this was on a swivel, uh, it would be a whole different story. Uh, so there are some legitimate complaints about it. The biggest complaint that I had with it, and I saw other people complaining, but I saw hard as you get it open. And I did find myself out in the field uh, with gloves on after four or five times trying to get this damn thing open. And it's not easy to get open. You know, I found myself out there irritated after four or five times. Uh, you know, some of the reason is, is that the, it doesn't actually come with that many hog rings if you're doing a big project. So you're constantly opening this thing to load new, new uh, hog rings in it in the form of a staple. Uh, why they didn't do this at more of like a 15 degree angle, 30 degree angle, uh, and sort of pivot on it, you know, and make it uh, twice the tool, you know, to be honest with you, the end of the day. Having said that, like most things I bought, the Sydney Walt, it was a good value for the dollar. I mean, I don't know what you want to do. I mean, the damn thing comes with a thousand staples. I ran about 500 staples through this thing. Did get the end up a couple times, like I said, uh, mostly when I wasn't getting on it straight or I was in a weird angle with it. Um, so, you know, that's just part of it. Having said that, Comparing it to having to use this damn thing and walking around out in the field, a whole pocket full of hog rings and all that shit. You know, I, I lose more hog rings than I install when I'm walking around the pocket full of, you know, something happened to me, I get lost out in the woods, and you can follow the fucking hog rings back to find me, you know. Uh, so, you know, and this is 12 bucks, you know. So, having said that, for $35 for the tool and a thousand hog rings, you know, I don't know what you want it to do, you know. Uh, a lot of people that are bitching about it, about it getting jammed up and stuff, is, you know, it's just like any other hand tool. You know, it could be uh, that you have it at a weird angle. It could be that uh, you're a complete fucking moron. You don't know how to use a fucking hand tool and have any goddamn common sense. So keep that in mind. Uh, you know, uh, I'm going to grind this off at work tomorrow to see if I can get this down to about a quarter of an inch. But like I said, when I purchased it, I knew. Of course, I had my eyes open and red. It only does at 7 millimeters, so it's not going to crimp it tight. In my case, like I said, doing fence, I don't need it to get tight. As a mechanic, I wish it would, uh, to be honest. You know, if you're doing uh, using it for arts and crafts, if you're using it for uh, tomato cages, if you're using it for upholstery, you know, a lot of mechanics use these hog ring pliers for upholstery, not necessarily this style, especially a uh, type of pliers for doing upholstery. This damn thing ain't gonna do upholstery. You probably fuck more shit up for this thing uh, than you'll fix, you know? So it's just not gonna be used for that. If uh, you all wanna see me a quarter million dollars for some recommendations, first thing I tell you, make it spring loaded on both sides. Put this head at a pivot. Uh, if this head was at a pivot, it would get jammed up less. Uh, you know, if it was at about a 15 degree angle, 10 degree angle, it'd be easier to use in corners and make it uh, more useful. But, you know, having said that, shit, I, can't, I don't have much bitches about it. You know, I think it's a four star in my case. Um, it's heavy duty. It's made out of metal. Uh, and it's a good value. You know, came with a damn thousand staples. You know, anywhere in the world, a thousand staples is going to cost you a thousand dollars. It's going to cost you 10 bucks. You know, so basically the tool's 15, 20 bucks. Can't beat it. It's made out of metal. Is it going to last as long as this one? I've had it for 20 years? Probably not. You know, having said that, this damn thing's so clumsy and, you know, I waste, like, again, I waste more money losing hog rings than, than I install. So, good value. Going to recommend it. Uh, I'll be going out and buying more staples. Uh, you know, like I said, the biggest thing is that they need to put a spring in this bottom, this damn thing. I don't know why they won't do a double spring to make this thing easier to open and close. You know, I found myself, after four or five times using it, you know, I'm out in the damn field jacking this fucking thing off. You know, <laughs> trying to get this thing to open just so I can get some more staples in it, you know. That's my basic bitch about it, you know. You got any questions, positive or negative, you know, let, let me know at the bottom.
Uh, you know, this is kind of clumsiness. Uh, someone came and asked me to almost give the gloves off. Uh, if you have this, they will be a spring loader. Uh, I hope you're spring loader. You know, in, in most of the cases, it's not spring loader. So sometimes you wear it together. I'm going to do this for a while. 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 I'm going to do